Hey, my name is Jimmy Fung. Hope you're having an amazing day. In today's video, I'll be walking you through exactly how I made $59,482.58 last month inside of my business in April 1st until April 30th. And so that you could copy and paste the exact business model that has allowed me to do this, right? So here on the screen, jumping just right into it, here is just a screenshot of my Stripe. And the reason I have this here is because every single time I post one of these videos, I have a few people, one or two people inside the comments, kind of just like haters being like, hey, this, you know, this is fake. You edited this picture. You didn't actually make this amount of money. So here's just a screenshot showing that I actually made almost $60,000 last month from April 1st to April 30th. And what you can also see is I actually made more money in March. So in April, I made 0.5% less than I did in the month of March. I made almost $300 less. Um, and what that looks like as a breakdown is last month from April 1st to April 30th, I made just shy of $2,000 per day. So I made $1,982 a day. And this was actually my fifth straight month making over $50,000 per month. So my very first month making 50 plus 50 K plus in a single month was in December, 2023. So from December until April, I have exceeded over 50 K. And the reason why I wanted to share this is because there's a lot of people online who say they make 10 K 20 K per month. But what they mean is they made 20 K one time. And in the next month, they fell back down to 10 K or 11 K or 12 K, which is completely normal because that's just how business is. But I want to share that the way I'm doing it with this specific business model, there is that level of consistency where I'm consistently hitting a certain, um, certain revenue goal. Right. And last month in April, I actually had my very first 10 K day, right? So on April 15th, I hit my very first $10,000 day. I made another video on my channel talking about the key lessons I've learned that allowed me to do that. Right. But it wasn't always like this, right? Like you see all these numbers, um, you see that I'm making money for myself and all of this other stuff, but it wasn't always like this because a few years ago I was actually working at McDonald's. I was flipping burgers for $14 an hour. I was just straight out of high school. I'm 23 years old right now. So it wasn't even that long ago, but I was just out of high school. I was flipping burgers at McDonald's and I was also $15,000 in credit card debt. Right. And this was extremely terrible because at that time I was in a lot of debt. I had no skills. I had no experiences. I didn't really know what I needed to do. All I needed to know was I just needed to figure out how to make more money, how to build a business, or even if it wasn't a business, how to find a vehicle that would allow me to get number one, get out of this debt. And then number two, build the life that I knew that I could have built for myself, kind of just hit my potential, right? So how exactly did I do this, right? So I don't want to continue just talking about how I did this. I want to show you exactly how I did this, right? So the specific way I did this was I built my own lead generation agency. And as I was building out this video, I actually figured the best way to explain what a lead generation agency actually is, is by searching it up on Google. And I think this is a new feature that AI overview feature. Uh, I didn't, I didn't see it previously on any other Google searches, but basically what it told me, what Google told me was that a lead generation agency is a company that helps businesses attract qualified leads or prospects who could become customers, right? So essentially what I was doing was I was approaching different business owners, B2B business owners, and I was telling them, Hey, what I'll do for you is I'll help you find your next customer and help you find your next client. Because the number one problem, the number one challenge that business owners face is figuring out where to get their next clients or get their next customer. So what I was doing was I was providing a service that solved this massive problem for business owners. And the specific way I did that is because there's a bunch of different ways to generate leads for businesses. But the specific channel that I used was by using cold emails. So what is cold email? Again, I searched this up on Google. So cold emailing involves sending out highly personalized emails to someone you don't have a prior connection with. The goal is to initiate the contact and try to establish a relationship to pitch your product or services. So, I, so essentially what I'm doing is for these business owners, I'm reaching out to their potential clients, people who could become clients of theirs and pitching their own services. That's what I was doing and using cold emails. That's exactly what I use to acquire clients for myself as well. So it's a system that works both ways. And what I actually decided to do was I put together this little diagram that kind of explains a little bit better. What's, you know, what a lead generation agency actually is and what, what I do to get paid to help them. 
So if you think about it, let's take a marketing agency as an example, a marketing agency. How does a marketing agency find their own clients? Let's say they help e-commerce stores run ads, let's say as an example. How does these marketing agencies find e-commerce brands and sign them as clients? Well, what they're probably doing right now is they're relying on referrals. They're relying on word of mouth. They might be running paid ads. They might be running Facebook ads or Google ads to get e-commerce clients for themselves. That's probably what they're doing. And obviously they're selling ads, they're selling SEO, they're selling email marketing, they're selling TikTok ads, they're selling all of this other stuff towards these e-commerce brands. But as a lead generation agency, so this green circle over here, LGA, lead generation agency, what we're doing is we're gonna approach these marketing agencies to try to get them as our own client. So we're trying to convince, we're trying to get these marketing agencies and be like, hey, we can help you find these e-commerce brands. And once we have them as a client, what we'll be doing is we'll be using cold emails to help these marketing agencies reach out to these e-commerce brands to then get them as a client. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're reaching out using cold emails to pitch these marketing agencies, our own services, our cold email services. And then once we sign them as a client, we're helping these marketing agencies and connecting them to these e-commerce brands. And we're doing that entirely using cold emails. So it's a very simple business model. What you're really doing is all you need to do is learn and understand how to send cold emails because that is what you're using to first land clients for yourself and then to help your clients get results and deliver the actual service, right? So this is the entire business model that allowed me to make almost $60,000 last month inside of my business, right? And before we move forward, just to set the expectations clear, I didn't make this amount of money by, you know, sleeping into noon every single day and going out and partying every single night. I didn't do this while working 30 minutes or an hour a week. That's simply not possible. I was putting in the work, but on the other side, I also don't want you to think that being at this level of the business, um, it was rocket science because it wasn't. It's a very simple business model, but it's 100% not easy. But on the other side, it's also not rocket science. And what I think is anyone who learns the actual skill of cold emails, who understands how this business model works, who puts in the work and who doesn't quit during the first challenge they face, anyone could get to this level. Right? I'm just a normal 23 year old kid living in Toronto, Canada. And all I did was start two years ago. That's all I did, right? So I wanted to make that clear before I move forward. So now that we understand what a lead generation agency actually is, what are you selling? Who are you working with? And what is the specific service that you're helping them with? The next thing to understand is specifically how I was able to generate over $59,000 inside of my business. So what I do, what I did was I actually created this little diagram breaking down each aspect of my own lead generation agency. And so hopefully you could try to emulate this inside of your own business or inside of your own lead generation agency uh, and generate a lot of traffic and sign clients for yourself and get them great results. So the very first thing to understand is obviously we're using cold emails and we're reaching out to these business owners, pitching our own cold email services. So over here, this, um, the shape over here, this purple one is business owner. The very first thing you want to figure out over here, these blue squares is what is called traffic top of the funnel traffic. How can you get as many eyeballs as possible onto your business? How can you basically get as many business owners to understand what you do and how you can help them? Because another way to think about it is hypothetically, if you were able to get all 8 billion people on planet earth to know about what you do and know about what you sell, you're going to make a lot of money. You're going to make multiple millions, tens of millions of dollars. If you're able to hypothetically get all 8 billion people on earth to know about who you are and what you sell. And the reason why is because you're generating a ton of attention. You're creating and you're getting as many eyeballs as humanly possible to look at what you are and who you are and who you sell and all of that stuff. So how do we recreate that effect? Obviously it's impossible for us to reach out to over a billion people, but it is possible for us to reach out and get thousands of eyeballs onto our business. And that's one of the biggest things that I've learned uh, in my own business is the more eyeballs I get onto my business correlates to the amount of money I make, right? So how do we do that? Well, the very first thing we do is we do cold emails. Obviously we're selling cold emails as a system, as a service, but we're also using cold emails for ourselves. So back to that example earlier, back to this example where you're helping, you're trying to land a marketing agency for yourself. 
How do you get a marketing agency to figure out who you are? Well, the easiest way to do that is by pitching them over cold emails. You want to reach out to, let's say, the founder of the marketing agency and pitch yourself. Explain to them who you are, what you do, and how you can help them. That's essentially what you're doing. And we're doing that using cold emails. The second way that I was able to do this was with my own YouTube content, right? So what I mean by that is generating attention and getting as many eyeballs as humanly possible onto my business. So over here is a screenshot of my own smartlead.ai. If you don't know what smartlead.ai, pretty much that is the automation tool that allows us to send thousands of cold emails every single day because obviously we're sending cold emails, but what I'm not doing is I'm not manually firing up Microsoft Outlook I'm not manually firing up Gmail and typing away these emails. I'm automating that entire process. And I'm using a software called smartlead.ai to do that. So here is a campaign that I actually sent out uh, in April. I set this up at the end of March, so March 27th. And as you can see, I reached out to a little bit over 14,000 business owners. Imagine what, how much money you can make, how much attention you can generate if you're able to get your business in front of 14,000 people. And that's exactly what I did by sending cold emails, right? I reached out to 14,000 business owners. With that, I got over 10,000 open rates. So these are people who actually opened the emails. I got a little bit over 2,000 replies, over 300 positive replies, and I booked a ton of meetings doing this. So I was using cold emails to generate attention for myself. Again, right? I was reaching out to 14,000 business owners and essentially putting myself in front of them and seeing if they're interested and seeing if I could potentially help them. So that's the first thing I did. Now, the second thing I did to generate as many eyeballs on my business as much as possible was with my YouTube channel. Now, obviously, if you're watching this video, it's on YouTube, right? And on my YouTube channel, I talk a lot about how to build a lead generation agency. You're probably watching this video because of what I'm talking about right now. But what I also talk about is how to do cold emails, how to send effective cold emails, how to get replies, how to book meetings, how to sign clients using cold emails. And using my YouTube channel and using the content that I put out onto YouTube, business owners actually find out about who I am and they actually set up calls to try to work with me, right? So using YouTube, I'm pairing up an outbound strategy, which is called emails, and pairing it up with an organic YouTube strategy, organic content strategy, to get people who are actively looking for cold emails, who are actively looking for lead generation services, to find out about who I am. And what I'm doing is by putting so much YouTube content out there, I'm also building a lot of trust and building a lot of credibility, right? So again, right, um, I'm creating a lot of content, which gets, which naturally gets a lot of eyeballs and people who click onto my YouTube videos and onto my channel to know about who I am. So that's what I'm doing at the top of the funnel to generate as much attention and eyeballs on my business and who I am. So once people discover who I am, they're interested because they're interested in getting more clients and getting more customers. What can I do to turn them from someone who just found out about who I am, who just found out about the name Jimmy Fung and get them to trust me, get them to understand that I'm an expert to build up credibility and to basically let them know exactly what my process is and how I can help them. So what I do is I leverage three things. Primarily, I leverage a VSL, something called a video sales letter, which I'm gonna run through exactly what that is. What I also do is to bolster my social media presence, my online presence, I also have an Instagram page where I'm just posting pictures of myself, you know, a little bit of lifestyle, show that I'm real, that I'm a human. So I'm pairing up my VSL with my Instagram page. I'm also, again, right, posting a lot of content on my YouTube channel. So what that does is because I'm posting so much content, because I have such a strong presence online, I'm essentially showing people that number one, I'm real, I'm not a bot. You know, we live in a time where AI is everywhere, AI is growing, is very prominent. You don't ever know if something is real or something is fake. And using these three things, the VSL, my Instagram page, and my YouTube content, what I do is I end up nurturing people who first find out about who I am, who understands what I do, and slowly build trust and essentially showcase my expertise and my credibility to the point where once they're ready to work with someone to help them generate more appointments, to help them land more clients, I'm kind of the first person that they think of. My business is the very first lead generation agency that comes to mind whenever someone is ready, whenever a business owner is ready to move forward and work with someone who can help them do that, right? So again, right? 
The purpose of it is to build trust and to showcase expertise. What I'm doing is I'm nurturing and warming up my leads, right? So again, my YouTube channel, right? I, again, right, I talk a lot about building a lead generation agency. But what I also do is if you go onto my channel, even right now, you will see that I have videos here and there talking specifically about cold emails, right? So I have this playlist over here that I just put together, right? I sent 1 million cold emails, everything you need to know. How to write cold emails for B2B lead generation, how to send a thousand cold emails per day, free 2024 cold email marketing course for beginners, the new way of cold emailing and all of this stuff. And the purpose of this content is to specifically showcase to business owners to showcase to people that I know exactly what I'm talking about. I know how to do cold emails. I've sent a million cold emails. I'm an expert in this realm of booking meetings using cold emails. So that does, that does a couple of things because what I'm doing in these YouTube videos is I'm teaching people. So the purpose of YouTube is people go on YouTube for two reasons. The first reason is to be entertained and that's exactly what people do and which is why people like Mr. Beast has such a large following. It's because he creates entertaining style videos. When people are bored, they wanna be entertained, they search up Mr. Beast. That's the first reason why people go onto YouTube. The second reason why people go onto YouTube is to learn something. So think about a time when you wanted to learn something. Um, you wanted to solve a algebra equation or you wanted to learn how to build a website. You wanted to learn how to send cold emails. You're probably searching inside the YouTube search bar, how to write cold emails, how to, um, how to build a website, how to learn C plus plus programming language. You're searching these things on the YouTube search bar to learn something. So that's the two reasons why people go on YouTube. And because I'm teaching people stuff about cold emails, whenever someone searches how to do cold emails or how to write effective cold emails, how to book meetings using cold emails, my videos are some of the highest ranking videos when people search those things. So the type of people who would search a cold email, how to write cold emails are business owners because regular everyday people, there's no purpose or there's no need for them to learn or understand how to write an effective cold email. They don't need to learn how to book meetings and sign clients using cold emails. So the type of people who will watch these type of videos are business owners. And what I'm doing is once they stumble across my video, because I'm teaching people, if you go and watch any of these videos, I'm just teaching people exactly how to write cold emails, how to convert attention and turn them into book meetings. Exactly kind of like this video that you're watching right now. I'm teaching you something. And what that does is number one, again, it established credibility. And number two, I'm providing these business owners with a new and unique insight as to what they need to do if they want to make cold emails work for their business. So I'm nurturing a lot of business owners using my YouTube channel. Now, the next thing that I'm doing is I also have an Instagram page, right? And on this Instagram page, I'm not really talking too much about cold emails or this or that. The purpose of my Instagram page is because people go on Instagram, not necessarily to learn things the same way people go on YouTube for, but they mainly go on Instagram because they uh, want to follow their favorite celebrities. They want to follow their favorite influencers. They want to see what their friends are up to. Maybe their friends want a vacation or maybe their friends are trying a new restaurant and they're posting pictures of their dinner or their lunch. That's the purpose of Instagram. So what I'm doing with my Instagram page is I'm just showing people kind of who I am, kind of behind the scenes, who I am, who Jimmy Fung is outside of strictly business, outside of strictly cold emails. Because at the end of the day, people want to buy from other people. People want to work with other people. And that's exactly the purpose why it's very important to have online presence, right? That's not just strictly talking about you know business, right? I don't want people to just be like, oh, this is the guy, Jimmy is the guy who just runs cold emails. He's just an online marketer. He's just an online entrepreneur. No, Jimmy Fung is a real person who has a life, who has friends, who does this, who does that, who goes out, stuff like that. And that's the purpose of my Instagram page. And what I also do is on my Instagram page is I post stories of my behind the scenes, what I'm working on in my business on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm not filming YouTube videos, um, what my day-to-day day looks like when I'm just working, some client wins, all of this other stuff, just to show people that I am real. So that's what I'm doing, right? I'm pairing up my YouTube to teach people with an online presence that shows people that I am real, that I'm not just a random person who just only knows about this one specific thing, right? So doing this stuff builds trust and it showcases expertise because what I'm doing is I'm nurturing and I'm warming up leads. And obviously inside my YouTube videos, um, 
at the end of all the YouTube videos, what I'm doing is I also have a call to action. I'm inviting people to book a call with me. I'm teaching people how to write code emails. And obviously as people write code emails, they're probably gonna get stuck somewhere. They're gonna have questions because things are never as easy or as simple as they seem, right? They sound simple when someone else is explaining it to you, but when you're actually doing it yourself, you're probably gonna encounter a problem and get stuck somewhere. And that's where a lot of people pay for implementation because they come to the conclusion that they rather not do it themselves, or if they did do it themselves, they're gonna lose a lot of time or maybe lose a lot of money because they're gonna go half a year without getting any results. So at the end of all these YouTube videos, I'm inviting people who want to pay for implementation, who want to pay to speed up the process to book a call with myself, right? So I'm using the content to nurture. And then at the end of it, I am using my call to action, which is calling people out and basically telling them, hey, so here is how you do cold emails. You could go and do this yourself, um, which will work great because of everything that I outlined in this video. But if you want to make sure this works or you want to work with someone who has sent over a million cold emails, then book a call and see if I can help you, right? We'll chat, we'll chat on a Zoom call and see what that looks like. So that's what I'm doing to nurture people and to build trust. And then obviously after that, um, this part is the conversation and taking the actual sales call. So when the conversation, people won't really converse with you if they're just finding out about your YouTube videos. But what I get a lot of people doing is they watch my YouTube videos, they stumble across my Instagram page, and then they actually DM me. They ask me a question about cold emails or about business. Or what I do is because I'm generating a lot of attention using cold emails, I'm reaching out to these business owners, pitching myself using cold emails, people will have questions about what the process looks like. Hey, I run a marketing agency. I run a Facebook ads agency. Will cold emails work for me? Hey, I run a short form content agency. Will cold emails work for me? So people reply back to me. They're coming to me, asking me some form of question and I'm replying back to them, answering the question, giving them value. And then again, right, I'm pitching a call. And then on that call is a sales conversation, right? Um, it's that simple. People know when they're booking a call that it is a sales conversation to see if there's a match and to see what that process or, you know, how you can specifically help them, right? So on that sales call, what I'm doing is I'm demonstrating a clear return on investment and I'm demonstrating clear value, right? So when people think of sales calls, what they think is maybe a high pressure salesperson or someone who's pressuring or aggressively convincing someone else to hand them a lot of money and basically selling them. But that's exactly what I'm not doing because what I'm doing is because of the process that I'm leveraging, which is people are finding out about me and going through my content and seeing that I'm actually an expert at cold emails, what happens is a lot of people come to me kind of already warmed up. They know exactly what I do. They know exactly how I can help them and they believe that I can actually help them. So by the time people jump onto these sales conversations with me, they are already pre-sold. They are already ready to move forward. They just want to understand the logistics. They want to understand if it will specifically work with the service that they're selling. They want to understand the specific timelines and they want to understand how much you know, what the pricing structure looks like and how much an investment would look like. So that's what I do on a sales conversation. I'm never convincing people or pressuring people into doing something they don't want to do. It's more of a consultant type of role where people are jumping onto these Zoom calls with me. I'm asking them a couple of questions to understand what their business is, what that looks like, what do they sell, where do they feel like I can best help them and what success looks like for them. And only if there's a fit, that's when I go into my own process and explain to them what that looks like and what the next step is. So here's actually a screenshot of some of the payments that's actually able to collect at the end of these 40 minute sales conversations. I'm collecting thousands of dollars because obviously I'm selling my services for thousands of dollars because I'm helping these business owners make thousands of dollars. If I'm charging $6,000, I'm probably helping them make at least 10 times that amount, at least $60,000 plus, Hence, I'm charging $6,000. So I'm not just charging a lot of money for no reason. I'm charging a lot of money because my service that I sell, the way I help these business owners is very valuable and I'm taking a tiny cut of the amount of money that I'll help them make, right? So that's exactly what I'm doing on these sales calls. And then finally, what I'm doing is after I land these people as clients, these business owners, 
they, they agree to move forward to work with me so that I can help them generate leads, the very first thing I do is I onboard them and then I focus on service delivery and getting results. So that's a very important part because if you're just signing people and you're not getting them good results, you're no different than a scammer, right? You're collecting thousands of dollars and you're not delivering exactly what they paid for. You are a scammer, right? So it's very important that you understand exactly how you deliver the result. Now, one of the best parts about building a lead generation agency is the fact that the same process that you're using to land clients for yourself is the exact same process that you're using to help deliver results for your clients. It's not the exact same, but it's extremely similar because you're just using cold emails. And in a way, by the time that you're able to even get a client, you kind of have proof of concept that your cold email system works. Otherwise you wouldn't even have had that Zoom call to start with or in the first place. So that's one of the best parts because a lot of other business models, like, like building a social media marketing agency, um, it requires you to learn a lot of different skills, right? If you're selling ads as a service, the very first thing you need to learn is number one, how to get clients for yourself. And then once you have clients, you still need to learn how to run ads for them, how to build funnels for them. You're learning a bunch of different things in a very short period of time, meaning your chance of success is relatively low because you're just learning too many things and you get overwhelmed. But with a lead generation agency, you're really only learning one skill and that is how to send cold emails, how to book meetings and generate leads using cold emails. So in terms of service delivery, I actually wanted to include this screenshot because I found it was pretty unique, right? So in March, near the end of March, uh, one of my clients that I'm working with, they are a recruitment agency and I was actually able to help them book a sales conversation with Stripe, the payment processor. And I actually use that as my payment processor. This is a screenshot from my Stripe. The picture earlier where um, I made $59,000, that is my Stripe as well. That's my payment processor. It's very common, right? And I found it very ironic because I was able to help my clients land a sales conversation with Stripe. Um, and um, this is actually the meeting that I was able to do. Um, and I was able to help my clients book a sales call for a Friday. Um, I assume March 21st, because this might've been the day before at 3.30 um, in their own time zone, right? And that was just a very crazy thing. But the reason why I wanted to showcase this was because if you're, again, right, if you're not able to get results for your clients, you're kind of no different from a scammer, right? So it's very important you get results for your clients. And the reason, again, right, that I was able to make basically $60,000 last month was because I was delivering 10 times more amount of value for my clients. I made my clients multiple times more than how much money I got paid, right? And that's kind of the fundamental rule towards business success, right? Is nothing is a get rich quick scheme. You shouldn't focus necessarily on how much money you make. What you should do is focus on how much money you make someone else because you will make a lot of money in the process. If you make someone else a millionaire, you make a lot of money in the process for yourself. So this is exactly how I did this. Again, right, the business model is extremely simple. It is not easy, but on the other side, it is not rocket science. And I'm a firm believer that anyone who actually tries really hard, who doesn't give up, who's resilient, can get to the same level of success and make even more money inside of their own lead generation agency. And just to prove that to be true, there are a couple other people that I'm personally working with right now who are making thousands of dollars with their own lead generation agency. So for example, we have Michael Dominic, who I started working with him at the end of last year in December, um, where he made $13,000 in his second month with his own lead generation agency. His very first month, he made $3,000. Um, that's what he was able to do. He went from zero to $13,000 in his second month. We have Tyler who went from zero to $6,000 in 28 days in basically a month. And I actually have a YouTube video where I interview him, ask him some questions about how he was able to do that, any advice that he wants to give to other people. You can find that on my YouTube channel. We have Kevin who went from zero to $9,500 in 30 days. And again, basically a month, right? And here is his conversation of him dropping in the wins channel. And again, I also have a YouTube video with him, again, interviewing him, talking with him, asking him for any tips, any advice that he give to other people. 
and we have Spencer who just recently he made zero, he went from zero to $11,000 with his own lead generation agency in 14 days. So in half a month, he was able to go from zero to $11,000. And I actually have a interview with him coming soon on my YouTube channel. Uh, that's for the future. So keep an eye out for that. But this process is extremely replicate. You can replicate this relatively easy. If you follow exactly what this looks like, it's very easy or very simple to replicate. So that's basically this video. I just wanted to run you through exactly how I made I, I just shy of $60,000 last month from April 1st to April 30th. Now, if you made it to the end of this YouTube video and you want to build your own lead generation agency, you want to go from zero to $10,000 a month in the next 90 days. Then in the description below, I included a link to my calendar where we could set up a time to chat, right? Because what you're, what we're going to be talking about is we'll be putting together a roadmap for how you can build your own lead generation agency and how I can help you get from go from zero to $10,000 per month in the next three months, in the next 90 days guaranteed, right? And essentially the people who work with me again, right? They're working with me because they want to accelerate the timelines. They could obviously go and build their own lead generation agency. All the people you see here who are making thousands of dollars, they could, they could have went out and done this themselves. It just might have took three times longer, four times longer, five times longer. And whenever they had challenges, they probably would have had to just figure it out themselves for a lack of better words, right? But by working with me uh, and with my help, helping them build their own lead generation agency, they're able to go from zero to making thousands of dollars in a relatively quick period of time, right? It didn't take them half a year. It didn't take Spencer half a year to make $11,000. It didn't take Kevin half a year to make 9.5K. Right. And that's the reason why these people decided to work with me. Right. So if that is something, if that's you, if you want to build your own lead generation agency and go from zero to $10,000 per month in the next 90 days, then set up a time using the link in the description below. But that's pretty much it. That's pretty much this video. If you liked it, make sure you drop me a like, make sure you drop me a subscribe, make sure you comment if you have any questions or you have any concerns or any feedback of any sorts. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.